Hello YouTube and welcome to this tutorial today on how to make a highlighted icon for your Instagram stories. Uh, so recently I've been updating my Instagram and the aesthetic of my profile and I figured uh, what better way to showcase your profile than to have clean highlight clip art. So in this tutorial what I'm going to do is illustrate how to get a Photoshop JPEG onto your Instagram story for it to be your new highlight cover photo. In order to do this, what you're going to want to do is open up Photoshop 2019 and we're going to create a new project. We're going to name this project YouTube Channel What you're going to want to do is make the size of your project 9 by 16. You shouldn't have to change the orientation or anything else and we're going to create. So here as you can tell uh, it looks like any kind of screenshot that you would have on an iPhone. Next you're going to want to find a color that fits the aesthetic of your channel. Uh, so my channel is more of a uh, nature outgoing channel. So I'm going to find a green um, color. What you'll want to do is just go to Google and type in green. And obviously tons of options are available here, uh, but I have the specific color tones that I want already in my downloads. This is the color of the aesthetic that my background is going to be. We're going to go back to Photoshop and find the color that you have downloaded from Google. We're going to drag it into our Photoshop project. We're going to expand it to the size of the actual picture. From here, you're going to press enter. I always like to save my images uh, as soon as I do anything. So I've already created a um, folder called Instagram stories, and I'm just going to go ahead and save the PSD as YouTube channel art. Um, as you'll notice here, our format is in Photoshop and we'll get to that later as we export JPEGs. Next step is uh, to find the icon that you want to be on your highlight. So now that we have a background, we're going to want to um, highlight a story that you've put together. In order to do this, we need something that matches that particular highlight. All right, while looking for the icon of your highlight, we're going to go to this website called pngfly.com. I'll have the link in the description for you guys to just click. Um, and I've searched for a kind of a waterfall aesthetic because this is going to go over my Oregon highlight. Um, and I found an image that I really like right here. It's got a very black and white feel. Um, so we're just gonna go ahead and download this one. All right. So now that we've downloaded that image, we're going to go back to our Photoshop project. We're going to go to our downloads and we're going to make sure that it says PNG right here. This is very important because the PNG basically makes the background of the actual picture invisible. So we're going to drag this into our Photoshop project and there we have uh, a semi good looking highlight already, but we're just going to make it a little bit smaller and we're going to put this in the dead center of our project. So it's there. I'm also going to make it a little bit smaller so that we can upscale it if we need to once we get onto Instagram. All right, so there we have um, our finished product. And from here, what we're going to want to do is go up to File, Save As. In our format, we're going to make sure that it says JPEG. From here, we're going to do Instagram story i'm just going to label it dot one for the sake of organization we're going to save it make sure that you render at maximum quality this isn't too big of a deal but i personally just like to render it out on maximum quality um, and now that our project is finished we're going to go to that specific project which i have saved on my desktop and in instagram stories so here we have our finished product what I'm going to do from here is I'm going to airdrop this to my iPhone. And now that it's on my iPhone, 
I will have a screen grab of what to do next on Instagram. All right, now that we're on Instagram, what we're going to do is go to our home screen. We're going to swipe to the left and um, go to your camera roll. And what we're going to do here is we're going to click on the highlight that we've created in our Photoshop project file. We're going to uh, put it onto our story. After we've put it on our story, what we're going to do is now that we have it, we're going to click this little highlight button here in the bottom right of the screen. We're gonna scroll over to the specific highlight that you want it to be the new cover photo for. And now that it's been added to the Oregon um, highlight, we're gonna to go to our profile. It should be our most recent highlight because it's the most recent one that we've edited. And I'm going to click on it. We're going to edit the highlight. And we're going to, at the top, we're gonna to click on edit cover. From here, we can scroll all the way over and now we have our nice little pretty highlight from here we're just going to press done we're going to hit done again and now we're going to refresh our instagram and there you have it we have a very nice aesthetically pleasing highlight for our instagram profile page if you guys have any questions please don't hesitate to ask them down in the comments below i should get back to you very soon thank you guys for watching and i'll see you next time